Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights Over Arkham. In this how-to tutorial, I will be talking about how you can upgrade your Chaos tokens. So, let's get started. One of the most key parts of Arkham Horror the card game is the Chaos Pack and the Chaos tokens that you pull out of the bag. So, uh, the game comes with these plastic um, cardboard tokens, which are fine, look nice, but the problem with these kind of tokens is that uh, they will start to wear down. So the more you pull those tokens out of the bag, your fingers will start uh, wearing down the surface and you might be able to uh, first off notice which token is which. For example, uh, this zero token, I, I don't think you can see it very well, but there is some wear on the coloring already. And of course the auto fail token, uh, it is a token that is always in the bag, so it will wear down more uh, rapidly than some other tokens. So uh, what can you do about this, so you don't uh, so you won't be able to tell which token is which. Well, the first upgrade I would suggest you do for your tokens is to add ca coin capsules to the tokens. So with these you can stop them from wearing down. And even if you already wear down your tokens, uh, adding the coin capsules will stop you from feeling the wear down and the wear down is only cosmetic at that point. These are quite cheap and you can find them either eBay or Amazon. So just order a bunch. I recommend you order a box of maybe 50. So uh, you have spares plenty and uh, these can come in either 25 mm or 26 mm, if I remember correctly. Uh, so I'm using the 26 mm, or I might be actually wrong here. Uh, it might be 26 or 27, so 26 would be a tight fit, so the tokens would be really uh, stuck in there. You have to break them to get them out, but these are a bit bigger, so I I think I, I like these more because if you want to remove a broken token it's easier without breaking the actual token. And um, the only problem with these is that when you shuffle them in the bag they might come loose and you might open one accidentally so you have to stop and fish out the other half of the so, uh, coin capsule to seal it again. Uh, some have uh, fixed that issue by gluing these together with super glue, and then you have to be careful not to bog down the plastic. So just put a minimal amount of super glue, and it would be it should be fine. But if you put too much, it might fog up the coin capsule. Um, of course, uh, as I said, you should have plenty of these uh, at hand, yeah, just in case, uh, like Insmut, we got less tokens and curse tokens in Insmut, so uh, we need to have coin capsules for those two, so you don't, uh, you won't be able to tell them apart in the bag, and these actually feel quite nice and uh, they add some weight to the tokens which is really pleasing in my <laughs> opinion uh, when you're uh, shuffling them they make a clanking sound which is also pleasant for my taste and uh, you feel uh, you can feel them apart and uh, they uh, have a weight to them like so but there also is a 
big supply of uh, alternate tokens on Etsy.com. I myself use LCG Chaos tokens, so let's put these aside. So my tokens are these LCG Chaos tokens. They also have the Bless and Curse tokens and Let's look at these a bit more closely. So these are uh, glass and brass tokens. So the back is brass and the front is glass. The first thing I was thinking when I got this that these should be scratching because there's metal going against uh, glass. But I've been using these for uh, one and a half years now and there are no significant uh, scratches in any of them just uh, this this is because uh, the brass is a softer metal so it's softer actually than the glass so it can't scratch the glass uh, it, actually the glass will uh, maybe make this brass a bit uh, scratched but but because there are no sharp edges on the glass there are no visible scratches on any of my tokens yet. And as I said, I have been using these for a very long time already. So these aren't the cheapest tokens, but I can highly recommend that they are worth the money they are they cost. Uh, I will also mention that Etsy.com has uh, a lot of different uh, token manufacturers. So for example, Arbitz makes alternative uh, chaos tokens out of uh, fiberglass and they are really durable. I have uh, some of their tokens uh, from their uh, Mythos Busters campaign and they are really good quality. I just set up using these because these are really hefty and make a pleasant clanking sound in the chaos bag. So I, I can highly recommend these as these will make pulling the chaos tokens really thematic and if you watch my videos you can hear me uh, shuffling these really strongly in the back so it, it even if I'm shuffling them hard they won't scratch and I haven't broken a single one yet uh, one thing at the end I would like to mention is to when when shopping at Etsy check out where the product ships so uh, be mindful that um, some tokens ship from the UK and if you are in uh, the US it might increase the shipping cost but of course if you are uh, shopping tokens from a US retailer and you live in the US uh, it might be a bit cheaper for the post but um, just also remember to check that if the seller can send worldwide. I can say that Etsy.com has a lot of uh, shops that only sell to UK or the US. But for example, LCG tokens that I use a lot uh, ships worldwide. So be sure to check that out. But that's basically all I want to say about these tokens. So this, these are some of the ways you can upgrade your Chaos tokens. Hope you guys like this uh, tutorial on how to upgrade your Chaos tokens. Thanks for watching and until next time.